Hey y'all, today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm doing, I'm kicking off 2024 with an office slash filming room slash craft room tour. And I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes. I wanted to show you kind of how I organize my space and I'm gonna be sharing some tips, tricks, kind of hack type things to help you get more organized in 2024 as well. Um, and I think that's, oh, this video is part of the First Friday playlist. My friend Tammy from the Rusty Willow and I host this. We host it every other month now. And um, yeah, this month is a fun one. I love looking at other people's spaces, whether it's touring a house, because I'm a realtor too. I, I like looking at other people's houses. So I love, love, love seeing behind the scenes stuff. So I just wanted to share a little bit of my behind the scenes stuff in my craft room area um, with y'all. So that's it. So without further ado, let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. One little quick side note. Um, I still sound this way. I still sound this way. I, I got sick back in like Thanksgiving. So for over a month I sounded, I had laryngitis, sounded a lot worse. Now you can at least sort of hear me and understand me. So anyway, apologize in advance for my voice, but let's get going. Before we get into a craft room tour, I kind of wanted to show you what it looked like before. I mean, it's not really like super messy or anything, but to me, it feels a bit cluttered. It feels like there's a bit too much going on. There's a, not as much organization about some areas as others. And if I take just a little bit of time to kind of organize and reorganize and, and sort, and <laughs> those are CDs from like the nineties or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, taking time to sort and kind of assess and see what I have, see what's going on, <laughs> what I need to get rid of, what I need to purge. Those are all things that are going to be helpful to me and help me to be a little bit more creative because I'm going to have a better idea of what I actually have in my stash. Can y'all hear the train in the background? <laughs> I love the railroad trucks. Anyways, so as you're organizing and, and or as I'm kind of going through stuff, I get distracted. This is, this is exactly what I get distracted by projects that I had not finished. And so here I'm taking time out of organizing and purging and cleaning to finish a project that did not have to be done right now. What is that ADHD or something? I don't know. But I have piles of stuff and just stuff stacked in front of things and it just feels messy and it just feels like it's cluttered and I, I can't think as clearly. So I just go through things, I sort and try to compile and put things together that go together and just figure out a home for things. And sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of plopping myself down on the floor and I, I tend to put things all in like a tote or a tub or a, a cardboard box and then I'll sort it later. And well now is later and I'm sorting things today. And I don't know about y'all, but I tend to put things like, I'll, I'll collect things like little, like, oh, I could use this in a craft. I could use this in a, you know, DIY or something like that. And then I tend to just, collect little bits and baubles and, and things that I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use them for. And I have tons of little containers with bits and baubles and little pieces of things. And, and I'm trying to find a home and organize it just a little bit better because it could be something that I could potentially use, but I can't use it if I don't know I have it. And I knew I had these handles from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't exactly know what little bucket I'd put them in. So again, organization is going to be key for me. I knew I had plenty of bins and like little containers to sort things in, but I also knew I needed a couple more. So I headed to the Dollar Tree <laughs> and I headed to the biggest one that I know of and grabbed a cart and headed in. And oh my goodness, y'all, they are ready for Valentine's Day. They have tons of stock out. It, this is the biggest store in the area. My local stores are not as big and grandiose as this one but they do have stuff out as well. And there's just like little things like, see, I don't need these wood letters. Put them back, Lisa. Oh, this lace was kind of cute. I did end up getting that. See, I was distracted. And they have lots of heart shapes to craft with, but I didn't buy any of those because I have plenty of stuff. I am making something with two gnomes and I thought, oh, maybe I could use these, but you know what? I already have my idea. I already have my plan. I don't need to buy anything else. I'm just gonna craft from my stash. They do have some super cute little bottle brush trees, but they made them into carrots. Isn't that cute? But of course my main focus was looking at their organizational bins 
and products that maybe I could use in my space that I don't already have. That's a really cute size at the bottom. You guys can use these to store beads, like little, really anything. I mean, it's just a storage container, but don't be afraid to look outside the box as far as like shape and size, because, you know, maybe it'll be something like these, I think are for like sodas on your, you know, in your refrigerator or something like that. But that'd be great on a shelf. You could just pull it out and it'll have stuff in it. And some containers like this would be good for those little bits and bobbles that I have just needing a home. I just need to make sure that they're all together so I know where I can find them. And a little bit later in my craft room tour, you're going to see me talk about containers. Dollar Tree has all sizes and kinds of plastic containers. They also have these bins and I use bins in my, in my craft room tour and they've just got little things like even this cutlery kind of sorting thing. You could, you could use that to sort paintbrushes maybe. I don't know. Just some ideas. I personally tend to like clear plastic containers so I can see inside. But even if you get like one of these collapsible storage baskets, you can always put a tag on the outside so you know what's inside. And again, there's not a shortage of plastic containers <laughs> at Dollar Tree. And even these bins and totes, again, I like the clear ones, but you can easily write on the outside if you want, put like a little label or just attach a label right there. And then you know what's inside. And then they have these little like containers. Again, this would be great for bits and baubles or if you're a planner, do stickers in there or something like that. I mean, I don't know, it's super cute, but I didn't need it, so I didn't buy it. I do use mason jars in my, um, uh, but they were just leftover mason jars that I used. But you can certainly, these are clear, you'll be able to see what's inside. You won't necessarily have to label it. They do have also contact paper and the rubber shelf liner. Um, I use that in my kitchen. I like this size storage container as well because it would fit inside a drawer and be able to organize stuff inside of drawer really nicely. These are great to double up on a shelf. So if you have a shelf space and you have short things on there, you can use one of these to like maximize your shelf storage space. Again, here's some more like little, they could be drawer dividers. Um, I see these all the time at my local Dollar Tree and they come in really handy. Just a wide variety of shapes and sizes of containers to help you get organized. But I really encourage you to use boxes, bins, and whatever you have on hand first before you go out buying something. Because if you're like me, you're like, oh, I need them all to match. No, you don't. You really don't. Maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> I really love these as well. They're clear, they're plastic, they're cute. <laughs> but I didn't really need them like for my organizing things. Well, maybe I need it in my fridge. I don't know. But I also like these little um, containers that have a lid on it. The bits and baubles that I have would fit really nicely in there, but I didn't buy those either. Because I just am trying to not overbuy just for aesthetic reasons. I'm trying to keep a budget. But here is the regular box, um, cubby box things, but I'll show you some later that are better. I do use these. For several things but um and i really like them and i have a larger one that i also bought from dollar tree but this is the smaller one works perfect for little things as well and last but not least if you see little items like this that you're like thinking oh this would be perfect to fit something that you're trying to organize in but you don't really want it to say like home or paw prints or whatever you can use rubbing alcohol and wipe that off I also wanted to pop in here and say that I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. And I would love it if you join and join in the conversation, post what you're working on. Once a week, we allow you to post a link to your YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel or an Etsy um, shop or something like that, feel free to post it then. And but in between, make sure you're supporting the community that's there so everybody feels encouraged and um, inspired on their creative journey. The link is gonna be in the description box below. All right, here's the door to my craft room. Nothing on the door, just plain door. <laughs> but that is the apron that I use when I craft. And the first thing you see when you walk in is this little mirror. Whoop, fit check. I do have this sign up here. I'm gonna move it because you, number one, you really can't see it. Number two, I just, I'm going to move it and I want to put something else there. But this mirror I actually made, I just bought a really inexpensive, oh, it's dirty too. That's nice. Um, I bought an inexpensive mirror from 
Target probably or maybe Walmart and I just glued these little half beads all the way around we used some wood to make a frame for it and then I found this little basket and I want to say I found it at Hobby Lobby and I just attached it to the bottom and the idea was to hold all of my book club books and um, I didn't do a, a super good job at book club this year but here's here's our book club books I need to take them to half price books because I've already read them. And see y'all, I'm kind of lying because I really didn't read the book club books all the way through this year. But this year, I mean last year, but this year I'm going to do better. I did make these two little stand things. And then this is of course a fake olive tree. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom and we're not going to look down here. You see the cat box there. We don't need to look at that. But I have this little tear tray thing that I have some glassware on. It's just extra glassware. That's where I'm storing it right now. But my intent is to use it and get it out of here. And then I just have a little area that I put my paint brushes to dry and stuff like that. This wall over here is more just a memento tchotchkes kind of thing. I have a sign that says, oh, the places will go. And then I have a map that I got from Hobby Lobby years ago on mega clearance. And I just put little map pins to the places we've been. That's a project, one of my favorite projects that I've ever made actually. And my dad is a telephone man, or he was. And so I have a vintage phone and a little sombrero. Oh, and then I have over here, I keep a lot of our ticket stubs and things like that. And so I bought this shadow box and then I just put admit two on there. Um, kind of like a ticket, get it? And that's my heat transfer vinyl. Um, that's my high school. Go Skeeters! <laughs> and then I just have a couple tote bags. And again, this is just mementos, little things, little tchotchkes, things that make me smile, make me happy. And then I have, again, just, just, mem I do collect Nancy Drews, but I collect the old Nancy Drews, the, the matte yellow, not the shiny yellow, or the vintage, the blue ones. So, if you have any extra, feel free to mail them to me. <laughs> um, oh, I was downtowner of the year. My son gave that to me. That's from Dubai. This is my filming area where all the magic happens, if you will. I did just get these box lights. And I've not even really used them for video. Um, today's video would be the first time I use them if I, if I turn them on in a minute here. But the only thing I don't like about them is just that they're so... Well, let me show you. If we walk around to this side of the desk, I do have an overhead, like, I guess, boom arm. It might be what you call it. And that's where I put my camera. And then it's an overhead shot here. But I also have this, this thing right here. And I'm going to use that for some front-facing shots. To kind of add you know a little bit of interest in my videos <laughs> so it's not just an overhead shot of my hands only so i'm gonna try that in 2024 to do a little bit more of that so for my filming space obviously you mostly see this but i also have the tools that i use on a regular basis like i have my little hammer i have my rotary cutter i have pliers i have snippers i have a screwdriver there um box cutter, <laughs> hole puncher, and of course I have my little clamps. I've got a, uh, my measuring tape. Those are just easily accessible right here. And the way I divided up the little space is I put in two of those wooden cube boxes from Dollar Tree to kind of separate out the tools. And over here on this side of the desk, I have, um, this is just like a, I don't know if it's a planter or something, but, or like a crock to put utensils for your, um, like, stove or whatever but I use it for paintbrushes because my grandmother gave it to me and um yeah I just I like to keep things in not just necessarily contained that it was made for um this was a terracotta pot that I painted this was a little just I think it's a baby food jar actually that I wrapped twine around and popped a flower on the front and that's how I just kind of organize these are things that I use on a regular basis. These are things that I'm going to use almost daily when I'm crafting. So this is my glue gun stand. And originally the glue gun was supposed to go here. And then I was putting my heat gun here. But I've got a little mini heat press. So I'm putting that here. And I'm putting the glue gun onto the um, silicone mat. 
I have a monster mat under this. This gray thing is a monster mat. And then this is, of course, a rotary mat. But I had gotten this little trivet from the Dollar Tree. And I just did the, um, what do you call that? Uh, etching, glass etching on it. I don't know if you can really see the cats on there. It's cat shapes. And then I had, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little pencil holder. And I e 6000 it <laughs> to the um, glass. And it stays pretty well. And that's how I kind of organized that. Now on this other side is where I put some of the papers that I'm using as either project inspiration or project templates and things like that. And then I keep the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color linen and the color um, charcoal here because I use them all the time. And here's some scrap wood signs that I'm working on. And this little bucket here is a bucket from the Dollar Tree. It comes in black or white. And at this particular Dollar Tree, I could only find it in white, but at my Dollar Tree, I found it in black. And I use it to kind of gather all of my supplies for the upcoming videos that I have. If I know I'm going to use it in an upcoming video, then I put it in this little tub thing. So that way it's, it's all in one place. I don't have to go all over my office or whatever searching for it. It's right here. And whether you use a bin or a tote or a cardboard box or something, I encourage you to kind of get a spot where you can put all your supplies that you're going to be using in one area. So that way you're just like a little more organized, a little bit neater about it. And maybe you can get a lot more accomplished because you're being more organized. This is behind my filming area and it's gone through several evolutions. <laughs> it originally started out as a cork board from Hobby Lobby and I got it, I got it like 90% off. It was like, and this was several years back, but they, these go on clearance. And if you watch the clearance, you know, as it drops down, you can get it for 75% off because every time I've gone every year since I've gotten it, they've had it on clearance again the next year. And I always tell my teacher friends in case they want this really big one. It, I wasn't using it as a cork board. One reason was because one of the cats scratched it. You know, I mean, it is what it is. So then I had Marvin put this pegboard on top of it. And I've just put um, a couple shelves that I made on top. And I use this to store my stickers for my Etsy shop. And I got these on Amazon and I can link those below as well. And they just hold my little stickers. But you could use this to hold beads or, or um, just, just really anything craft related. You can use this to store your craft items in that. And then I have this little drawer thing. I'm pretty sure I got this from con the container store. But I used to put my stickers in there. But I don't anymore. I just put the little baby stickers because I get free stickers when you buy a sticker. I give you two little freebie stickers. And so anyway, I do that. This is a mat, cutting mat from the Dollar Tree. And I put it here because there's a gap between here and stuff will fall down and we don't want that. I store my mats in between this, <laughs> between these two little bookcases. And there's my sewing machine. I've had this since I was in like eighth grade, y'all. And then I had these two or three um, paper storage boxes. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I put paper in one, um, extra vinyl scraps are in another, and I think calendars are in this one. And I don't need everything to look the same, so this is, somebody had given me a gift and it came in this little metal basket, so I use it to store my paint. And then um, this is a little crate from the, the uh, Dollar Tree that I just painted and I stick my little templates in there. And this is something, a store was going out of business, so they had this drawer thing. And this would be a really easy DIY to do, but I store my little scrap pieces of wood in there. This cube bookcase is from Target. And you can buy these. I think these are like $5 at Target. Dollar Tree sells them as well. But be careful that you get the right ones. You're probably going to have to go to the the, the higher priced one, dollar Dollar Tree Plus area because you want this to be sturdy enough that it really contains everything or if it doesn't matter to you buy the Dollar 25 one that's that's on you but I like the sturdier one and I just store things like I know what's in everything so I don't have to put labels on it but I know twines and, and ribbon is in this one this is little circular things <laughs> I mean I know what's in there and then um well there's a random 
pot holder. That was my grandmother's. Uh, my grandmother gave it to me. And I keep it. It's old and needs to be tossed, but I'm still keeping it. Here's some more stuff. Um, I don't have nearly as much. For a long time, it was kind of, you know, overflowing almost. But I've been re doing really, really good about crafting my stash. So like I said, you could buy the $1.25 one. But um, I would recommend getting a sturdier one just to kind of keep everything in place. But if your option is you're starting from like a super tight budget, get the $1.25 one and go from there. Or make your own out of a cardboard box. And like I said earlier, you could take these little tags that you can get from the Dollar Tree and put the tags on the outside if you're having trouble remembering what's in each bin. Um, I just happen to remember because I've had it in the bins for forever. I made this out of Dollar Tree little crates and um, some what do you call these um, paint sticks and then I had these left over from a Dollar Tree frame and so I just made that to put here I was gonna store paint in it but it wasn't really holding the paint well and it yes yeah, so now I just have like little things that make me smile inside of it and I keep my paper transfer tape out because I use it all the time and I love it and that's a vintage picture of big text from 1956 I'm all about repurposing things and using things and items that they weren't necessarily originally intended for. So for example, this is a spice rack and inside the spice rack, not spices anymore, I've got paints like glow in the dark paint, metallic paint, ones that I don't use that much. I've got those in here. And then on top, I just put some of the paints that I do use more often. And in this I love this tear tray. I didn't need another tear tray, but I thought, hey, I could like store my extra yarn as well as my greenery in here and it works out great now this paint storage idea is a Dollar Tree craft I took the crates from Dollar Tree and I glued them together and I put the paint inside and then this is cubes because y'all Dollar Tree now I don't want to say that Dollar Tree did a sturdy but you know kind of because they changed the size on stuff so for example this crate is not the same size as this crate. This crate ends right up here. And it, I mean, even if you like lifted it up, it's, it's, it's a different size. And so just be aware of that because I can only fit in, like, see, I can't fit in one there. It has to be in the middle, which, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I'm just saying. Um, whereas on this size crate, I can fit four rows. This one can only fit three and a half. And then this down here is the cubes and they only fit four. But again, you have to make sure the size cube you're using in comparison to the paints that you're going to be putting inside of it. Now, this is a craft that I did. Oh, here's paints that I don't have a home for yet. But this is a old spaghetti jar um, from a farmer's market that I went to. And I just painted that and stuck it on one of those little candle holder things. And now it's like cute storage for my buttons and my extra beads. Now, what I do have to remind myself is to... If I'm needing buttons or beads for anything, I need to start checking this first to see what I can use up. Although it just looks cute standing there on its own. Here's another tear tray that I got from Hobby Lobby and my paint pens are back there. But this is just stuff that, oh, and my Jim Holtz um, ink is there and my rubbing alcohol. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And I use it to store rubbing alcohol so when I need it to clean off something that I'm going to be putting vinyl on, I have this right here. And it's just a little pump action thing. This little shelving system, I forget where we got it, but it's actually, it's on wheels. But I use it to put my printer, my Cricut, and then my heat presses down there. And this is my regular vinyl. And I just have this in a crate. This little thing over here holds my glue and it's just two trays from the Dollar Tree and they used to have these signs. I forget what the sign said, but anyway, I, I took the sign, put it on both sides and then I put a little dowel here to make it kind of like a, I don't know, toolbox type thing. I don't even know what you'd call it. But anyway, I put my um, glue there and this cute little tray, see it gets junky down here, but this cute little tray here. If you can see it through all the wires, my gosh. Um, that is an Amazon find, and I put some of my ribbon that I use most often there. And I have my level here. I have my Fiskars um, paper cutter. Here is how I organize. Sometimes I need like little things to hang up something on the wall, or I might need a little nail for 
this out of the other. This is my little toolbox kind of thing. And I just got this from Dollar Tree. They had the bigger size one time and I got it. And I just, there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to how I organized it, but little tiny things can fit so nicely in here. And if you do beadwork or if you do like jewelry beads or whatever, or if you do wooden beads and you want to sort them by size or something, something this size is perfect. Unless you have a ton of beads like me. This is some heat press vinyl as well as some contact paper. And I just store it in a basket because that's, that's where I have it. <laughs> Now, some people have like great organizational systems. They have over the door, behind the door. They have like a special contraption for it. I don't. So I just try to utilize things that I already had in my house or things that I could easily get and, and find. And that's what I'm using. Now, this little container thing is from Dollar Tree as well. And what I'm using it for now is to store things that um, are going to go in future little gift bag type, treat bag type things I'm giving to my grandkids and my nieces and stuff. So, um, if y'all are watching, act surprised when you get it. But anyways, um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more organized in 2024 and stay more on top of the holidays and things like that. Okay, this is my office and some spray paints, some gloves, and I got these little containers. You can get all sorts of similar containers at Dollar Tree. They have such a wide variety. They have um, shapes, sizes, and all kinds of colors and stuff like that. And in this basket, I have my little um, iPhone printers, like my little Instax, and I have a sprocket printer in there. This is just like little, little stuff. Some more paints. In this little shoe box or photo box I got from Hobby Lobby, I put my cards that I've already purchased, like some, you know, just have generic cards on hand and stuff like that. This is my gift wrapping stuff, and this is just in a big tote as well. I got these shelves from Pop Shelf, and I think they were like seven dollars a piece, and so I just mounted them on the wall, and I started to put the the ribbon like across like that, and it wasn't enough room. Things were just overspilling, so I started stacking them up that way. And I found that actually works better for me because I can see more of the ribbon. This little rolling cart thing I got at Aldi actually and it holds my Etsy supplies as well as um, my craft booth supplies. And when I tell y'all, y'all can repurpose and reuse things to do other things. Like for example, this was what some soup came in and um, I just put extra wood circle pieces in there. And this is a mason jar. And obviously, I've just put 14 millimeter beads in there. One thing I also do, if you didn't know, Dollar Tree sells these shoebox type things. And they are so awesome for organizing your craft supplies. I... Even though I can see they're clear, I can see through them, I do label them with what's inside just to kind of help me find it a little bit faster sometimes. And you can buy larger sizes at Dollar General. You can buy them at Target, Walmart, that kind of thing. And up tippy top there, I have some seasonal decor that I have made or bought that I really like that I'm keeping. And um, I'll just bring it down for the seasons. And then I've got some wire wreath forms up there. I don't really make that many wreaths. And I've got some extra candles. And I've got some extra, you can't really see them, but I've got some extra Jenga blocks right up there. There's right up there, some Jenga blocks. <laughs> and I've got extra things right here. My daughter, one of my daughters had bought me this screen printing thing. And I haven't done it yet. 2024 is the year though. I'm making something with the screen printing stuff because I've really wanted to try it. And I've got my Model Magic there, just some extra little Ziploc bags, and I've got extra tin pieces and just extra like blank things to create with. I've got more things back here, just like some terracotta pots. I've got some metal things, just kind of blank pieces that I'm going to be crafting with in 2024. And here's an example. This is like a party tray that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm not using it for a party tray. I'm using it to sort some things that I need to find a home for later, but I was trying to put like things together. And yeah, I mean, it comes in great to, um, in fact, 
yeah see down here i have another party tray that i used to organize my stuff back here are my wood blanks and or wood signs that i've gotten from dollar tree that i'm going to make over and then here are some other either blank signs or signs that i'm going to recreate that type of thing redo and again i'm using those shoe boxes that i got from dollar tree some of them did come from like probably target or walmart or something but dollar tree carries them now and they work perfect for me I don't need them like super sturdy because not, there's not really anything heavy in them. And I just label them with what's in there so that way I can find stuff fast. Even though I can see it, I can see that there are straws in here, but it just helps me to look um, when I have it labeled. Here's the label maker that I use. It lasts me a long time and I still have quite a bit of tape left in there. And you know, it works great. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my craft room and seeing a couple of the organizational ideas that I do and I use. And um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing my like top crafting items that I feel like every crafter should have in their space if they can. There are links, there's information in the description box below. If you have questions, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure and do that. Give it a thumbs up, you know, all the things. And I hope you have a wonderful and prosperous and an abundantly blessed 2024. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And don't forget, if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on Instagram or on TikTok or or um, Facebook or something. My handle is Our Grey House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye!